Hi, welcome to the Neal's Homestead, and we had illegal loggers on our homestead. We spent a lot of the summer away at the house uh, that we were fixing up to sell. Whenever we moved back, I was working outside one day, and I heard a chainsaw. It's hard to tell distance here, but it sounded like it might be too close, might be on our property. So I decided I'd better go investigate it. Well, I trudged off through the woods and got almost as far back on our property as you can go. Sure enough, there was a man in the process of cutting down a walnut tree solidly on our property. This is one of the logs of a walnut tree, and this is one of the most valuable woods that is growing in Missouri. Whenever I found him, he was in the process of cutting the last one that is really loggable in this area. And he had another one leaning right back there that he knocked over with this one. They had already cut a road over that way and cut down and hauled off several others. Whenever I caught up to the man, he was still running his chainsaw, so I had to wait until he turned it off so that he could hear me. We started talking and I told him that I believed that he was on our property. And he said, well, I'm not sure where I was. The neighbors told him their property goes quite a ways over here, up on this hill. I said, no, the line's way over there. We talked for a while and then we pulled up an app called Land Glide, which you can tell property lines, guaranteed within five feet. Using that app, we were able to find exactly where the property line was. And it's actually like 300 yards that way because the trees are already cut. Some of them have already been hauled off and sold and it's all illegal. We didn't give permission. The neighbors were having their property logged, told them verbally where they thought the line was, but didn't verify anything and were quite wrong on the line. And the thing is they've already sold some. And they've been here for a long time. They've been here for weeks working on this property and cutting stuff. And we weren't here to catch them and hear them until towards the end of it. So anyway, I talked to my mom and my brothers to see what they thought we should do. We decided that we probably needed to call the sheriff to get a police report on it. And we came back and talked to this man again to see what we could work out. We don't really want to cause a big problem with the neighbors, but this was not the right thing to have happened. They're basically stealing wood off of the place. These walnut logs can be quite valuable. One tree can be worth between a thousand and three thousand dollars. It depends on the quality of the wood, the size of the wood, how many knots there are, how straight they are. These are on the lower to mid grade. They're not the really nice like veneer quality logs, but even so they're worth quite a lot. They're worth all the effort to come in here and get them. They had cut about seven large trees on our property. Some of them had already been hauled off and sold and the checks given to the other property owner, but the owner had not cashed those checks yet. And talking about what to do with this situation, we decided the most equitable way without causing lots of drama would be for them to just give that logging fee to us instead of paying it to the other property owners whose logs they weren't anyway. The typical arrangement with a logger is that they will get half of the money for bringing their equipment in, cutting a log, hauling it off, taking it to the sawmill and such. These ones that were already hauled off, I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they were somewhere between $1,750 and $2,000 for the trees that had already been hauled off. The total amount of what we've received so far has been something around $3,500 to 4000 My mom has gotten half of that. The remaining logs to be hauled off, we don't know the exact value yet. I think these trees were better trees than the other ones perhaps, but I expect the whole project to be worth around 6000 total and our half about 3000 They had already cut quite a few over that way and I'm going to walk us over that way and so we can see the damage. This is the road that they cut across the creek to go from one side. Our property line actually goes across the creek. So this is all on our property. And they cut down a walnut tree over here. They really caused quite a lot of damage and haul them off back over in there. They really just tore everything up. And I think they've even been back here digging since I was back here last trying to get across this creek and stuff. I just got a text actually that the loggers are up there at the house and they're ready to come down. So I guess it's perfect timing. So that's it for today. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.